How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to the next episode of the AQ Nostalgia Quest series. And for today's episode, let us continue on with the next part of the Chess Master Saga. So heading over to the travel map here, Chess Master Saga, let's go. So today we'll be doing part 6, okay, the Burning Sands. Oh, and once again, another picture of Old Battle on. Steady. I can't do it, I just became a guardian yesterday. No, he told me we'll have to fight monsters like that. Get a hold of yourself. If you weren't capable, you wouldn't be a guardian. You may all be new recruits, but I have faith in each and every one of you. We will meet this beast on the fields and we will all show it why you don't attack this town. For battle on. For battle on. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah, this was what the old guardian blades looked like. Uh, The one that can shift elements. Okay, I'm not sure if they still look the same now, but yeah, very, very cool. Way back before you get the blade of all, you can uh actually use the guardian blade for guardians and... Yeah, it still looks super cool to me even to this day. Of course, the artwork leaves a bit much to be desired, but you know that old nostalgia feel that you get when you play Adventure Quest. Yeah, this really brings it out a lot. Looks like someone's having a party and forgot to invite me. Korriban, you're just in time. That's Korriban. Thank the Elemental Lords, you're saved. I thought Korriban would look scarier. You got a Class L bearing down on our position. Class L? Legendary monster literally appears in legends. <laughs> you made that up, didn't you? I have a lot of time on my hands in the tower these days. Anyway, an adventurer of your caliber will greatly improve our odds in the coming battle. Everyone, two arms. Hold that thought, one, one eye. I know that monster. Karban, it is not, it's good to see that I am not forgotten. Jagos. Wait. Oh my god. Very, very disturbing <laughs> looking monster. Props for the animation work though, but have we seen him before? I literally do not recognize him. What are you doing here, Jagos? This isn't anywhere near the Squaling Desert. About that. <clears throat> you travel quickly to Squaling Desert with Jagos. Goodness gracious, the great desert's on fire. Indeed, my duties require that I endure the heat, but this is beyond my capacity. When did this start? Shortly after the intruders arrived. That sounds awfully familiar, and if I'm right... Yep, definitely familiar. <laughs> Okay, so, ooh, level 146, so max level stuff, I guess. Uh, stats are max level 2. Ooh, this guy has damage reduction, okay. Interesting. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Fire resistance is 42%, so this is not going to be very good. And, yep. Okay, also haven't turned on the backlash toggle. I wish you could turn toggle on armors before you actually start the battle. That's one thing that uh I wish that they added, but they never did. Okay, I mean, technically, I never raised this up before. Yeah, but that's a good quality of life change that they could do. Let you toggle on armors that you don't already have toggle on before you start the battle. Because unless you go first, you're not going to be able to toggle it on, right? Uh, no, rampant. Okay, and I think we just attack. Oh my god, damage is piss poor. Of course, he has the damage reduction. Oh, nice, backlash. Very, very nice. Come on, hit me again. Alright, done. Phoenix rising. Phoenix in reality don't come back. Oh yeah, we've read this plenty of times before. Still one of the uh, nicest looking old monsters, in my opinion. Like for the old artwork, this was actually really good. This and my other favorite will have to be Chimera, that's for sure. Like these two monsters don't really need an update. Like they, they look amazing the way they are. Magman. A powerful a powerhouse of molten lava. Magman are respected as protectors of the fire realm. Yeah, so this was the standard of uh, this was the general standard for the Odin artwork. If you compare it to the Phoenix, it's literally heaven and earth difference. Like, would you look at it? Salamander. Also, old monster. I can't remember if this one actually got an up up update or not. But, oh yeah, 0% damage. Oops, a daisy. Uh, can we still backlash it? I think we still have enough health, right? Yes, okay. I think our health should still be sufficient. Ooh, okay. This is gonna be close. Because we can't do any damage with this weapon. Okay. 
Uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use a bit of Essence Orb. Make sure I have enough to upkeep the gas so I don't eat unnecessary damage from that. And I think, uh, yeah, we should be able to do this, no problem. Alright, there we go. That was a close one. Full heal, next battle, Desert Guard. Level 121. Oh, this is the one with the giant thermometer again. <laughs> oh, he if he does a special attack, he'll literally kill himself. Come on, do your special attack. No, not that. Come on. The one with the flaming meteors dropping from the sky or something. Nope, never mind. Guess you won't see it. Fire Dragon, level 150. Okay, Backlash is not that great and his health is also pretty close to ours. Ooh, Lucky Shot. He's going to do his SP attack. Okay, nice. <coughs> Jagos, I need your help. You say that these intruders arrived just before this started. That is correct. Was there any part of the desert that was hit harder than the rest? Yes, yes indeed. So, this is the part. Nalu's Oasis, where you will find a well of the Water Lord's Tears. Nalu the Water Sentinel has helped the flame back from burning the o Oasis. Clever, clever little spirit, dousing the heart of the Inferno to hide your prize. Oh, what in the world? Fire Beast. Though I suppose you didn't have much choice now, did you? Wouldn't do for your little well to dry up, would it? And now you're too weak to even craft a form for yourself. Oh, how the mighty have. Back away from the well, hot shot. Well, well, well. The meddling morsel arrives, but it is too late. You don't have the orb yet. Oh, the return is learning. Perhaps it's time to deal with you. You know what this monster reminds me of? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh players, does this look like Salomon Great Gazelle to you? Like, holy crap. <laughs> the, it looks so similar to Salomon Great Gazelle. Like, what the heck, man? Literally... <laughs> If I didn't play AQ and if I didn't think AQ actually... Wait, no. Salem and Great Gazelle came up after this quest, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, maybe the creators of Yu-Gi-Oh actually played <laughs> Adventure Quest and they got some inspiration here. <laughs> Scorching Serpent. This really Serpent seems to have a strong link to the Elemental Realm of Fire. Okay, 50% to energy. Over 10,000 HP though. Yeah, this is a boss monster that I haven't really seen before. The backlash is pretty good. Doing a pretty good job because he's hitting us with 3 hits. That's nice. Yes. Ooh, Lucky Shikes too. Very good for us. Okay, is that all you can do? I mean, that's good because it's doing quite a lot of damage from the backlash. Oops. Okay, uh, time for some Essence Orb. <coughs> if I started out the battle with full SP bar, this wouldn't be... I wouldn't have needed that, but yeah, I didn't... I usually don't bother to charge up the SP bar before the battle starts because there's no real need to. Also, there have been a lot of talks about people wanting to nerf the guessers. Like, come on, they... Guessers are in a perfect position right now. Like, they aren't stupidly strong, but they aren't, like, weak or anything either. I feel like any change is probably not going to be a good change because right now, they, they are literally fine. Like, they are not overpowered, but they are not underpowered either. And the cost is justified. Like, you can't upkeep the guess along with other stuff for too long because of the SP cost. But at the same time, it's not like bring a guess out as an instant win button or anything like that. So, yeah. Ooh, also, I just noticed this guy has 95 MRM. Wow. Okay, so Backlash is actually pretty good against him. No wonder he keeps dodging my attacks. Okay, I did not notice this. Oh, could this be a testing grounds for new bosses? Yeah, AQ Tubers, if you're watching this, I'm looking at you. Uh, Tag, and who else is the one that likes to do bosses? Zionas, Tag and Zionas, both of you. <laughs> Come and try this out. Scorching Serpent. Yeah, interesting. I, I didn't even remember this boss existed. Grant, this is an overhero. Oh, yes it is. You've been beaten. Accept it. Beaten? There's more than one way to win. Oh. What in the world? Oh, is that the fire orb? A little gift for you and your precious water sentinel. 
Chase me and the weakened sentinel dies, and we both know you won't let that happen, hero. You, you're a fiend. Oh, you're too kind, but as much as I love to watch your face twist in anguish as you realize you won't chase me, I have a job to do. Fire Mantique. Oh boy, here we go again. I thought that was the end of it. Wasn't he the boss or something? No. Okay. How many battles are there? Let me see. Ooh, okay. Six more battles. Yup. Phoenix Rising. This is actually a pretty lengthy quest, to be honest. Yeah, because of how many battles there are, there's a, like more than 10 battles. Luckily, the boss isn't at the end of everything, so it's not too tedious if you just want to fight the boss. You just have to get through the first half of the enemies. The second half is... Yeah, you can just skip those, honestly. I don't really think there's any good quest rewards for this either. The next quest, let me take a look. Yeah, the next quest is also pretty long, but uh, not as long as this one. Or at least it doesn't involve as many battles as this one. See, I wonder if we have time for... Yeah, that's the Meteor Attack. Only one hit? I thought it does more. Okay, never mind. So anyways, as I was saying, uh, depending on how long it takes, we might only have time for two quests today. Maybe three? We'll see. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> fire Dragon. Akrilov is dead, but the Fire Dragons are still the most volatile dragons of all. Are these dragons related to Akrilov or are they from another lineage altogether? Let's go. There we go, next. Thank you, Korriban. The fires are abating at last. The desert should return to normal soon. A job? That beast was doing a job? Are you feeling okay? Oh yeah, glad I could help. What were you saying? That you have done the desert a great service and you have the thanks of its guardians. Nalu in particular would like to offer a token of her gratitude. That's good, but I can't shake this feeling that we are being set up for something. Something very big and very bad. Yes, because that's usually how games work out, isn't it? <laughs> Weapons, what do you have here? A uh, fiery orb sword. Oh, it's tokens only. Uh, yeah, very basic artwork. Obviously not worth it. Uh, level 100. This one is go heavy water for. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, why is this tokens again? What does this do? Uh, orb swords are ice weapons that make use of the power of fire orbs to greatly enhance their special power. Unfortunately, this has two side effects. Firstly, it makes the special rare, and secondly, it causes the special to partially. Deal fire damage. Yeah. How is this even a weapon that people want to buy? Even in the olden days. Like that's that's just not very good. Uh next one. Okay, fiends like these. What? They broke into your base? And it took from me, yes. All while you were busy defending the others. It's so nice to know where your priorities are. We didn't even know they were attacking you. Ignorance of the assault is no excuse. Well, given that we are distracted by a much larger war. Oh, come on, your clan leaders. You could have defended your own base. You didn't need me, right? No excuse. Well, maybe it's time I take over Paxia because you are relying, literally relying on me to protect your own home. What the heck? <laughs> okay, for the sake of moving forward, let's just say we agree. Better. Crazy old bad. <laughs> what was that? Nothing, just trying to figure out how to get your clan back. Yeah, that sounds about right. We have to fight a small army after all. Not necessarily. You mean this old cave leads right into your mansion? Why didn't you ever get that fixed? I found it to be a quaint place to relax. And it's a castle, by the way. Whatever, Jax, to the Bat Cave. Mind the Night Raiders figures. The Bat Cave. Okay, what do you have here? Night Raider. Uh, Darkness 84. Oh yeah, this will be good. Very good. Oh wait, this guy does energy? Oh yeah, he does energy, right? Okay, this should be darkness. Oh wait, Earth? Hold on a minute. When does he hit with dark again? Oh yeah, that's the dark one. Okay. And the animation of his eyes literally puffing up 
to the size of balloons. Like that, that was always pretty disturbing to me as a kid. Hey, what kind of death animation is that? This flying bee seems to be a mix of vampire, bat, wolf, and even dragon. So he's a jackalpire? No, wait. Uh, vampire. Vampire bat. Oh, vampire bat. Wolf. Yeah, yeah. Jackalpire. That's what he is. I mean, looks a little bit like a uh, night night bane. Is it? What do you call him? Night bane. Yeah. Looks a little bit, but it looks more like a were pyre than a jackal pyre, if you ask me. There we are. Next, another night raider. Oh, so just night raiders? Okay, I mean, this is the bat cave. Last episode, we also saw that the, uh, who was that? Noctros, the leader of the Nocturo clan, had some, uh, actually dealt, actually had some confrontation with whoever the mastermind is behind this. So, is he leading us into a trap? Did they strike an agreement or what? what's going on here? Yeah, I'm quite curious to know. What went on between them? We didn't get a clear answer, but I guess that's part of the storytelling, you know, to keep you hooked. To be continued, right? That's that's how TV shows and... Yeah, that's how a lot of TV shows like to end off. To be continued, to keep the uh, the what, the viewer hooked and then so that they'll come back for more. Yes, they do that in games too. But especially if you split it into many parts. Oh man, that is a lot, a lot of bats. How many have we faced already so far? I don't know how many there are. Hmm. I think there's six. Need to beat six or something, right? Have we not even hit six yet? This should be the sixth one, I think. Yep. Alright, Nocturo said the entrance should be right about um Korriban. What? Mind the Night Raiders indeed. Oh come on more. Yeah, okay, there's two more. I mean they do kill themselves pretty fast, so there's that. I guess we might have time for one more. Yeah, probably have time for well, the next quest is also pretty long. Okay, there we are. Next. Yeah, so just a huge swarm of bats. That, that's basically it. If these are Jackal Pyres, does that make Nocturos a Jackal Pyre as well? Hmm, I wonder. Holy hybrids, there's no end to them. Hold on, I've got an idea. Whistles. Wow, what just happened? Bat repellent from Nocturos, of course. Wait, he has bat repellent? He looks like a freaking bat. <laughs> I do believe I see the entrance into the castle from here. Okay, wow. Trip Fiend, how very strange. Paxia should have retaliated by now. It has. Oh, Cops, excuse me. Ahem, only one assailant? Two. <clears throat> one. <laughs> how charming it can count. Go, go, ta, Fiend. This is another boss. A mysterious undead beast. Marked with a number. What's the agenda of these creatures? Ooh, this is quite interesting. I'm curious to see how strong this guy is. He just like... <laughs> shoot away the guy like nothing. You see miniature skeleton vouchers flying around your head. Or at least you think you do. Dazed. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter since you are relying on backlash. Yeah, it doesn't matter at all. Oh, corruption of the disease. Wait. Minus 20. Oh! Interesting. Yeah, this could be another new, uh, another old forgotten boss. Yeah, <laughs> because I just did the tier list recently, so, yeah, ooh. Interesting. Yeah, this is another old forgotten boss, I think. The mechanics are pretty interesting. Uh, reducing endurance. I didn't know old bosses had the ability to reduce your stats. I thought, like, that was a recent thing. Like, apparently old bosses can reduce your stats too. Interesting. Wow. 
Yeah, I thought it was a new thing with like Ellie and the recent Queen Safira, but it looks like they already had this mechanic in the past. It's just that it was not very widely used. That's why not a lot of people know about them. This seems familiar. Haven't I killed you before? Killed? No. And today will be no different. Well, at least we got Nocturne's base back, right, Jax? Jax? Ugh. Speaking of which, that guy looks a little bit like, uh, was Doomsday, yeah, from Batman. No, Batman, what am I talking about? From Superman, yeah. Looks a little bit like Doomsday from Superman. What hit me? What? And the way he said killed, uh, yeah, give, is giving me Doomsday vibes, that's for sure. Friends like these, but the actual title of the quest is Fiends Like These, so it's quite an interesting play on words. Guardian perfected Grim Stalker. These hunting bows were fashioned by Noctos himself and they are known for their remarkable accuracy. Oh, okay. And you know what? I think we'll call it a day. Slightly short episode today. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Carbine Gaming. Peace out. Yeah.